In today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to solve indefinite integrals using integration by parts. And we have a formula that you need to remember. The antiderivative of u dv is equal to uv minus the antiderivative of v du. One of the problems that you may encounter in solving indefinite integrals using integration by parts is to identify the value of u. So I have here an acronym that you may able to use in order for you to identify the value of u. u will be the first thing that you find in the list of letters lie 8. That means log, inverse trig, algebra, trig, and exponent. And we are going to use this one in order for us to find the value of u and solve indefinite integrals using integration by parts. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, what is the antiderivative of x e raised to x dx? So to simplify this one, we are going to use the formula. The antiderivative of u dv equals uv minus the antiderivative of v du. And to identify the value of u, let us use the acronym LI8. That is log inverse trigonometry, algebra, trigonometry, and exponent. Since in our given, x is an example of algebra, and e raised to x an example of exponent, and algebra comes first before the exponent. So therefore, the value of u, that is x, and du, that is the derivative of x, which is 1 dx, and dv, that is e raised to x dx. And to find the value of v, let us find the antiderivative of e raised to x dx. So the antiderivative of e raised to x dx, that is e raised to x. So let us have u, which is x, and v, that is e raised to x, minus the antiderivative of v, that is e raised to x du, that is dx. So let us simplify. We are going to have x e raised to x minus the antiderivative of e raised to x dx that is e raised to x plus c. And this will be our answer. On example number two, what is the antiderivative of x sine x dx? So to simplify this one, let us use the formula. The antiderivative of u dv is equal to uv minus the antiderivative of v du. And to identify the value of u, let us use the acronym Li8. In our given, x is an algebra, sine x is a trigonometry, and algebra comes first before trigonometry. Therefore, the value of u, that is x. And du, that is the derivative of x, which is 1, dx and dv that is sine x dx and to find the value of v let us find the antiderivative of sine x dx and that is negative cosine x and the derivative of negative cosine x is positive sine x so let us have u that is x v that is negative cosine x minus the antiderivative of v which is negative cosine x du that is dx so let us simplify this one so we are going to have negative x cosine x negative times negative that's positive antiderivative of cosine x dx so let us simplify let us write negative x cosine x plus the antiderivative of cosine x dx that is sine x plus c. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, what is the antiderivative of x squared ln x dx? So to simplify this one, let us use the formula. The antiderivative of u dv is equal to uv minus the antiderivative of v du. Since we have an acronym Li8, 
let us use this one to identify the value of u. x squared is an example of algebra ln x that is a logarithm, and logarithm comes first before algebra, therefore the value of u that is ln x. And du, that is the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x, and then dx. And then dv, that is x squared dx. And v, that is the antiderivative of x squared dx, that is x cubed over 3. So let us have u, which is ln x, and v, that is x cubed over 3 minus the antiderivative of v that is x cubed over 3 and du that is 1 over x dx. So let us cancel x and x cubed. x cubed becomes x squared and this one becomes 1. So let us move this one in front. So this will be 1 third x cubed ln x minus one third times the antiderivative of x square dx. And to simplify, we are going to have one third x cubed ln x minus one third the antiderivative of x square that is x cubed over three plus c. And to write our final answer, this will be 1 third x cubed ln x. Let us have negative 1. And then 3 times 3, that's 9. And then we have x cubed plus c. And this will be our final answer. So I hope you've learned from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.